The gentleman floor is recognized five minutes. I guess I'm just wondering, Mr. Attorney General, has anyone at the department told President Biden to knock it off with Hunter? I mean, you guys are charging Hunter Biden on some crimes, investigating him on, on others. You've got the president bringing Hunter Biden around to state dinners. Has anyone told him to knock it off? Our job in the Justice Department is to pursue our cases without reference uh, to what's happening in the outside world. But just that, yes or no, have you done that? That is what we do. So it's a no? No one that I know of has spoken to the White House about the Hunter Biden case. I'm wondering then, okay, I got it, I got it. So Hunter Biden is selling art to pay for his $15,000 a month rent in Malibu. How can you guarantee that the people buying that art aren't doing so to gain favor with the president? The job of the Justice Department is to investigate criminal allegations. You have information. Are you investigating this? I mean, someone who bought Hunter Biden's art ended up with a prestigious appointment to a federal position. Doesn't it look weird that he's, making, he's become this immediate success in the art world as his dad is president of the United States? Isn't that odd? I'm not going to comment about any specific Not going to comment, not going to investigate. So right. Hunter Biden associate Devin Archer told us that Hunter sold the appearance of access to then Vice President Biden. Are you confident he has stopped doing that? I'm sorry, I didn't understand the question. Hunter Biden associate Devin Archer told us that Hunter sold the appearance of access to then Vice President Biden. Are you confident he has stopped? I'm going to say again that all these matters are within the purview of Mr. Weiss. I have not interfered with them, and yeah, I do not. Yeah, but if you were confident that he had stopped, you could. And I do not intend to us. interfere with yeah, him. I want to. So it was a lot of Chinese money that was working its way through these shell companies into the accounts of the Biden family. So the China initiative was set up during the Trump administration at the Department of Justice to go after the malign influence of, of the Chinese Communist Party, and the Biden Justice Department dissolved the China initiative. So I guess I'm wondering, does the department have any documents uh, that would detail the basis for why you got rid of the China initiative that President Trump had set up? The Assistant Attorney General for the National Security Division gave a long speech which explained that. He has testified before Congress several times. We'd be happy to provide you with- What's the, the basis? Just tell us all now. What, why, why was the China initiative dissolved? What, uh, the, what the Assistant Attorney General said was that we face attacks from four nation states, North Korea, China, Russia, and Iran, and that we need to focus our attention on the broad range of these attacks. Sometimes we but, don't but, but know. Wait a second. You don't, are you saying that North Korea has the same malign influence risk to the United States as the Chinese Communist Party? Are you, are you trying to represent there's some parity there? Because cause here's what it looks like. It looks like the Chinese gave all this money to the Bidens, and then you guys came in and got rid of the China initiative, and it was successful. Like, I, I saw one rationale that you guys got rid of the China initiative because it was racial profiling. But, but one of the people you convicted was a guy named Charles Lieber, who was a Harvard professor taking $50,000 a month to do China's bidding and give them whatever research was being done. Are, are you aware of the millions of dollars that moved through Rob Walker's shell companies from Chinese Communist Party entities into Biden family bank accounts? Are you aware of that? There were a lot of questions that you just asked. Let me start with the first one about North Korea. North Korea is a dangerous actor, both kinetically and with respect to cyber. But not on par with China. I'm on I'm the not, Armed Services I'm not Committee, in the Mr. Attorney right General. Now it's a, okay, it's, it makes you, you look unserious to suggest may that. May I answer your question or not? Answer the question about whether or not you know about all the millions of dollars that so moved you don't want Rob me Walker's to answer into. about North Korea? I already know the answer, and so does everyone. They're not the same risk as China. So let's get on to serious questions and serious answers. Do you know about the money that moved through Rob Walker's shell companies, yes or no? As I have said repeatedly, I have left ma these matters to Mr. Weiss. I've not blissfully intruded, ignorant. I've not interfered, I've not tried to, to find out it's what like he knows. It's like you're looking the other way on purpose it's because everybody knows this stuff's happening. And you know what, people don't pay bribes to not get something in return. Right, we, the, the China initiative resulted in the convictions of a Harvard professor, of someone at Monsanto. So we were working against the Chinese, they paid the Bidens, and now, we're, now you're sitting here telling me that I'm, North Korea is the big threat. I'm I gotta so, get to this one thing on January 6th. I, I, so did the FBI, did the FBI lose count of the number of paid informants on January 6th? Let me you, answer your question about China. I China want you to answer this question. Most, I only get five minutes. 
You've already you, sort of, I think, screwed the pooch on China. So permitted. January 6th, did you lose count of the number of federal assets? Did you lose count and order an audit? Gentlemen's time has expired. I, I get an answer to the question of did, he, did they lose count? No, let him answer the question. The time has expired. The, the Attorney General can respond. China is the most aggressive, most dangerous Mr. adversary Mr. that General, the United the States faces, and we are doing everything within our power to rebut that, to stop that, to prevent their invasions, both kinetic, both um, and through cyberspace. And we will continue. If, you, if to do someone that. gave that answer in your courtroom when you were a judge, you would tell them they were being non-responsive, and you would direct them to answer the question. Point of order, Your Honor. Time is entering uh, the witness. Uh, point of time order, is please. expired. I, I got it. I just, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was. You like Your Honor? You want to stick with that? Yeah, I, I was getting okay. laughed at you call me Your Honor. I point don't. of order, either way. Okay, I understand that too. All right. But the gentleman asked his question before his time expired. The attorney general did not respond to the gentleman's question. I was hoping he would respond to the question about the confidential human sources on January 6th. He didn't respond to that. I'm sure we're going to get uh, uh, we're going to uh, get uh, an answer uh, to that of, later. Of course, now, Mr. Chairman, there, were, there were eight the questions before that that he was not given a chance to answer. I understand, so but I, the witness might have thought. But the witness doesn't, Mr. Chairman. Point of order: the witness does not control the hang time. On, hang on, exactly right. Members control the time. If they want to switch their question and focus on one more question that they'd like an answer to, I want to give the witness a chance to respond to that final question that Mr. Gates asked. He didn't respond to it. Someone else is going to ask it, I'm sure. We now recognize the gentleman from Tennessee for five minutes. 